Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to hop across the channel and that is the English channel to France and take a look at one of the French single meal rations. Now this is the menu number one. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And so, as you can see, I now have here on the table this French R-I-E-R, -E or the single meal ration. Uh, this particular one is the menu number one, and it had a best before date of 24th of February this year. So it's a, a few months out of date, but everything should still be perfectly okay. Uh, as I say, this is a French exercise or training meal. Yes, it comes in a simple cardboard box, very much like the 24 hour pack, but it's obviously smaller. I need to bring in a little friend just to open the cellophane there. So it's simply cellophane wrapped, which is not very thick, easy tear, quite thin and flimsy, purely just to keep it dry, I think, to stop any dampness getting into the box. And it is a simple, straightforward, plastic open box, cardboard box. So move this to one side and what does this French single meal ration actually contain? So straight off the bat we have a little packet of the French biscuits uh, I think this one is the salted biscuits so small pack as opposed to the large ones we normally find there is a simple pack of tissues or TP we have a unbranded coffee. There is a pate de fruit, so a little fruit bar, sweet bar. We have a 65% cocoa chocolate. I believe this is a rice pudding, a little tin of rice pudding. We also have Again, I think this is a chicken pate, a chicken style pate. And last but not least, the mains menu, the chicken with couscous. So, this is the contents of this 20, 12, 24 hour, sorry, single meal French ration. So, let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. And as you can see, I now have here laid out on the tray the contents of this French Army single meal, menu number one. So I've had the mains boiling in water for 10 minutes. I've cracked the lid to let the steam out, but apart from that, I've not opened anything. I need to actually start where I normally like to start is with the drinks. In this instance, there is one very simplistic looking coffee sachet, um, unbranded. So... We shall start there. Now this feels. Oops, I think that's. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's very compromised. It does look like, if you look closely, it does look like there's a white mould forming on there. So unfortunately, that looks like that very simplistic coffee has ruined. So I shan't be having a coffee. I do have a glass here, there is no other drinks, so no coffee to try. I will just be filling the canteen with water. Sorry, from what would be from your canteen. My glass with water. So, moving on round. No coffee, just water for cleansing the palate. I'm going to take a look at the biscuits, uh, salted biscuits, two bags of. So, it looks like it's already come open at the bottom. Um, best before September 24, so still in date, should be good. Just, there is two packets for this particular demonstration. I'm only going to be needing one, so we should just get one. Two packets of the same. As you probably know by now, the French 24 hour come with pack, packs of mixed biscuits. But these are just salted. 
Moving on round, we do have a Mont Blanc rice pudding. So just a little tin of rice pudding. So a nice, thick, creamy looking pudding there. We have at this end what I think is the chicken pate. So again, we should just give that a, an opening. So, so a chicken pate. We also have what we see often in the 24 hour packs, the pate de fruits. Um, this one looks like it's pear, pear flavoured. These are normally just a sugar encrusted jelly or a jelly fruit. So it is, same as always, a sugar encrusted block of jelly. And last but not least, their 65% cocoa dark chocolate 25 gram small piece I'm trying to do this without keep bringing in my knife but they're very tough bags I think I'm going to have to bring my friend in and there's lots, quite a lot of blooming that's quite bloomed but I'm sure that will be fine and last but not least we need to finish opening this tin of chicken with couscous and vegetables. It's quite hot. I'm going to decant it, I think, into a bowl because I have and because I can. It's very hot, so I'm going to bring in a US MRE spoon. No cutlery with this meal. Scoop all of this out, very hot, very hot, large portion, so keep it coming, so that's the majority of that out there, bit of a mix up, it actually looks like there is chicken some sausages in there as well as lumps of chicken wasn't expecting to find sausage as well so where do we start um, no coffee so I think we're gonna go and take a look first of all at the chicken pate and with that we're gonna have some of the salt crackers so I'm going to try those first that was quite soft Mm -hmm. quite sweet they are more of a sweet cracker I would say than a salt they're also already getting a little bit soft even though they're a few months away from their best before date they are starting to soften but they still make a good background so the chicken pate is quite moist it's quite soft um, quite fibrous regular style pate um, nice flavor plenty of salt plenty of pepper basic seasoning I think there is more chicken meat in there hardly any background liver flavor like you find so often in pates it's more of a creamy ground chicken meat, but it is a nice, tasty, enjoyable pate. I should enjoy eating some of that a bit later. I'm going to have to move on now to the main meal. So we have couscous, vegetables, I can see zucchini um, or courgettes, depending where you're from in the world. I can see carrots, I can see um, peas, chickpeas, a little bit of sweet corn so I'm going to go first and find a bit of the chicken, one of the little chicken chunks salt, pepper, tomato a very slight curry flavour, there's a little bit of hint of of maybe curry powder or certainly chilli powder if not curry but it's very dis faint very in the background the chicken is well cooked 
it's soft, um, it's got those strings that you associate with like chicken breast. The Kush Kush is very soft, very easy to chew. Um, it looks like there's some sausages, there's two sausages, I'm going to try a little bit of the sausage there. Mm -hmm. Another piece of the sausage. Very much tasting of the chicken. There is clearly a lot of chicken in that sausage. They taste very similar, or if not, the flavours of everything else has come through. Small taste of chilli, I think, in the background. Nicely salted, nicely peppered, nicely flavoured. Nice mix of vegetables, carbs, proteins, a nice, enjoyable meal, one which I'm going to enjoy. Finish him after the video. Nice, tasty, enjoyable, with just a little background heat. So, moving on round to the puddings, I'm going to bring in another spoon. So I think this one is the Australian CR1M spoon. I'm just going to give that a mix around there. So, typical looking rice pudding, nice and creamy, soft rice. Let's give that a taste. Mm. Very creamy, very sweet, lovely soft rice. Mm. We can get rice pudding in tins and cans here in the UK and little pots and that's exactly what it is. Just a typical tinned or canned rice pudding creamy tasty sweet and a very enjoyable bit of after dinner sweetness have a nice tasty enjoyable sweet moving on to the pate de fruit this one's pear just a large square of jelly um, sugar encrusted Nice artificial pear flavour, very sweet, quite soft, bites through very easily. Mm -hmm. Artificial pear flavour, but very enjoyable, very sweet, and a very good energy boost. Put in your top pocket in the middle of your exercise or your training, coming very handy as an energy booster. Moving on to the highly bloomed chocolate. Nice and dark in the centre, but blooming all the way around. Four pieces, 65% cocoa. Oh. Firm chocolate. Crumbly chocolate. When you chew it, it crumbles into little powder. It takes a lot of melting on your tongue. It's a long time before it turns into that smooth tongue coating chocolate. It stays more of a powdery, powdery crisp chocolate. I wouldn't say it's the best chocolate I've had out of these rations, but it's certainly another enjoyable taste of chocolate. Um, just maybe not the best quality, but it is a nice additional sweet. So, a very simple basic meal, apart from the coffee which has failed unfortunately, everything else was tasty, enjoyable, filling and would certainly make a nice single meal when you're out on exercise or doing some training. So, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.